Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conley from Scratch Golf Tips. Today we're going to be talking about golf tees. Now a lot of people don't really think about the golf tees that they use. They'll just take the first bag they see in the pro shop or just look around the first tee to see if they can find any on the ground. And there are plenty of different types of golf tees. You have your normal plastic golf tee, you have a wooden golf tee, you have different heights, different shapes, different sizes. I'm not really going to talk about all of those. There are plenty of shapes and sizes of golf tee that claim that you can hit the ball further off that tee or that you'll be more accurate. I don't really buy into any of that. Today I'm just going to be talking about the design on the golf tee. Specifically, I'm going to be looking at a normal tee versus a tee that we often see which has three stripes on it. Now, I am a huge fan of the striped tee as opposed to the normal tee, and let me explain why the striped tee is so valuable. It's a fairly simple concept. These lines allow you to see exactly how high your ball is teed up, and that can help you for a number of shots. Let me explain what these three lines mean for my personal game. These three lines simply act as a gauge so I can see how far my tee is in the ground and how high my ball is going to be teed up. For instance, a normal teed up shot with my driver, I'll stick this tee in the ground so about half of this first marking is covered. So I already have it measured out that when half of this first marker is covered up, half of the golf ball will be above my driver, half of the golf ball will be below my driver when my driver is resting on the ground, which is ideally what you want out of a tee height. So what this tee allows me to do is have consistent tee height for every single driver shot that I hit. When you have no markings on your tee, you don't have that level of consistency because there's nothing to read there. And as you can assume, if your tee height is more consistent and you're putting a consistent swing on the ball, you're going to get a consistent result. Now I don't always tee my driver up the same height. Sometimes I'll tee it up a little bit lower so that I'll hit a lower fairway finding fade, which is a shot that uh, I've come to love with my driver. So I also know that if I want to hit that lower fairway finder, I go right to about this second line, which allows me to control that tee height at all times. Now I'm not going to sit here and say that if you have your tee height perfect every single time, you're going to take five strokes off your game, but this is just such a simple advantage that a lot of people simply overlook. Now you can get these tees in a variety of ways. I'll leave a link to an online store, uh, that'll be in the description below, that you can click and you can purchase them, but you can also go to your local pro shop or a local sporting goods store near you. I should note that it is important to practice with these tees once you get them, just so that you can find out where the sweet spot is for each of your shots. Thank you very much for tuning in everybody, I appreciate it. As always, if you like the apparel that I wear in these videos, I wear John Morgan Sportswear. You can get 20% off at John Morgan if you use code SGT2021 at checkout. Thanks for tuning in everybody, play well, and take care.